Hi there, this is the Capablanca Bikowski line in the Italian Gioco Piano from the games Elliot against Capablanca 1909 and Estrin against Bikowski 1967. We're going to follow the Estrin Bikowski game as Capablanca's was played through a different sequence of moves. And I should point out that uh, this is replete with inaccuracies but instructive nonetheless. After e4 and e5, knight f3, knight c6. Bishop c4 and bishop c5, the Italian Gioco Piano. Well, white here goes for a quiet line with castles as opposed to the, perhaps the more aggressive and direct c3. Black plays d6, white d3. And already in this position, um, both games went a different direction. Capablanca, in his game, played bishop g4, pinning the knight on f3 whereas Bikowski played knight f6. So we'll follow the Bikowski line, but it does result in the same position later on. c3, and now bishop g4. Well, queen b3 gets the queen out of, uh, out of that, the way of the pin knight, and also aggressively targets f7 as well as b7. Black plays bishop takes f3, giving up f7, giving up b7, or allowing the recapture. Well, the recapture or bishop takes on f7 would be white's best choice. In fact, bishop takes f7 would give white a slight advantage, I believe, after bishop takes f7, check, king f8, now recapturing the bishop on f3, knight a5 tries to get the queen off the diagonal to defend the bishop, but queen e6, and white is surviving and just about on top. Instead of bishop takes on f7, if white plays queen takes on b7, he's more or less busted. This position should be uh, evaluated at uh, pretty much winning for black because now black can really press with knight a5 hitting the queen and that's probably winning here for black. But we're looking at this line, which is more spectacular, but certainly more inaccurate. Queen d7, which offers up that rook for the taking on a8. But that's going to be dangerous to take, because if queen takes the rook with check, uh, let's just try and throw that in, queen takes rook, king e7, queen takes on h8, then we can expect to see queen g4, which is going to be mate on g2 after g3 and queen h3. That's a unstoppable mate. So queen takes on a8 wasn't going to happen. So instead, white recaptures the bishop on f3. Also interesting here would have been this move, probably better, hard to see, Queen, uh, sorry, bishop e6. That's a bit uh, tough one to see. Just giving up the bishop. If queen takes the bishop, then queen takes on c6 is okay for for white. And if f takes the bishop, then things change a little bit. F takes because then queen takes a8. King can go to f7. Queen takes on h8, and now there's no queen to g4. So. That's going to be okay for, for white. But we're looking at the move now, the recapture. G takes on f3. And now rook b8 sends the queen back to a6. Rook b6. The queen back to a4. And now queen h3. Uh, this is the position that we had both in both games. Elliot against Capablanca. Where uh, this player, Elliot, played bishop b5. And Capablanca took the pawn on f3, went on to win. And in the game Estrin against Bikowski, Estrin played knight d2. That's inaccurate. Um, e drawing chances would have uh, happened after d4 by white. If it said knight d2, then uh, we've got a couple of ways to win. Maybe knight h5, but h5 is a nice idea with the rook heading for h6 and g6. So the game continued. Rook d1. Rook h6, 
Knight f1, rook g6, check. Threatening mate. Knight interposes on g3. And rook takes g3. Because now h takes g3, queen takes g3. The f pawn is pinned by the bishop on c5. Here we're going to have mate probably in around four moves. King h1. Queen takes f3. King back to g1. Bishop takes f2. If the king would have gone to h2, then queen takes f2 would have been mate as well. So bishop takes on f2, king f1, bishop e3, king e1, and queen f2 is checkmate. So this has been the Capablanca Bikovsky line in the Italian, a trap for black. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.